I remember the first time I had played the Duke Nukem 3D video game. It was at a party. One of my best friends from high from one of my best friends from primary school, McGregor, was having a party, and it wasn't a big party. It was a small one, and I was invited. And he showed me his home computer, which had no broken 3D, and he let me play it. And he implemented all the different cheats, and so I began playing it. And some of the cheats include infinite fly and invincibility. And so when he uploaded the game, the first level was the level with the movie theater, where there's a big open boulevard, and then you need to break into the lobby of the movie theater, and then eventually go into the where the studio is and the theater, and so on. I just spent the entire time playing that level, just floating around high up in the sky. I was hitting the invisible wall on the ceiling in the sky, and I was just floating about, back and forth, back and forth, up and down the boulevard. And occasionally a monster would attack me and I would kill it. I'm invulnerable. And then, randomly, I would... I um, at, at some point, randomly, I then discovered where the exit was, and so I completed the level, pressed the exit button, completed the level, and that was the end of that. And so the actual of the level of killing the monsters and going through the movie theater was completely unknown to me, and I was suddenly in level two, and all the time McGregor was saying, oh, good job, you made it to level two, that's amazing, good work. And then, a couple of years later, when I got Duke Nukem 3D on my own home computer, these, there was this strange familiarity about this level, as if I, was, I had played it before, as if I sort of already knew it. And it was only later that those memories started to click into place, and I realised, hey, I've already played this level. It was at McGregor's house. Yeah, 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 that's right. It's strange how we're able to remember the first time we did certain things, even though the actual event was rather pathetic and unimpressive and unimportant. Clearly, me just flying around with infinite fly and invincibility and not even engaging with the level and just flying up at the sky and hitting the invisible wall on the ceiling was not the most exciting gameplay, and yet it has remained in my memory up until this point.